All right, we're out here at the range today. Uh, we're gonna do some hunting tonight on Carpe Seuss's uh, personal property out of a box stand. So this is the third hunt and third trip to the range with a bearing optics 640 clip-on resolution um, thermal sight. So I've got it on the rifle here in front of a day optic. And uh, what I am going to attempt to do this evening since I'm gonna be stationary in a box stand is I'm going to take the clip-on on and off the rifle, use it off as a monocular handheld, and then put it back on uh, for the shot, if we get a shot opportunity. So uh, let's walk through that real quick. Uh, I'm going to steady the rifle here, disconnect the power pack. So this is the process I'll have to do while sitting in the blind. Disconnect the power cord. And I've got CR-123 uh, in the clip-on right now. Okay, so that comes off. Now that I have the clip on off of the rifle, again, batteries are in play. So it's a matter of, since I took external power off, I'll have to power up the unit. Once I power up the unit, this eyepiece back here is a light suppressor. Uh, it is basically just there for keeping the spill over from the display of the clip-on from illuminating the shooter and giving up your advantage of uh, not being seen at night. So I will have to unscrew the light suppressor. And some folks will ask, well, why can't you just look through it when it comes off the rifle? And that's because these are specialized uh, lenses in the back of these clip-ons. Um, they're designed so that the very tiny screen uh, is able to be viewed by a day optic that has magnification. So if I were to look through here with the naked eye, you will see the image and I would say that it's one and a half by one and a half inches. So you won't be very effective in trying to use it. You could in a pinch if it were in tight, in close quarters, 50 yards or less, uh, I can look down and, and see objects and utilize it in that fashion. More realistically speaking, in order to do extended viewing and observation, you would want to affix a magnifier to the back of the clip-on. Now that the magnifier is in place, the screen appears to be two and a half by two and a half inches, so it's much bigger. Physically, the screen size did not change, understand that. But the magnifier, coupled with the clip-on attachment lens array, viewing the screen makes it appear larger. Uh, so yes, I get very good definition and clarity using this clip-on with a magnifier attached. Uh, this is a little bit different than other clip-on designs that you may have seen or used uh, in that in some applications and even in this uh, prototype optic you could choose to unscrew attachment off the back and go with a non-magnified viewer but this is just a little bit more difficult to uh, navigate and perform repeatedly over the course of a night hunt while in the field. So, very smart to put a magnifier that you can just leave your, see I'm already having trouble getting that threaded back uh, correctly. And everything's tight and new, so you can see the amount of force that's necessary to detach and reattach from this position as opposed to this. Okay. So, I will scan in the blind, handheld, 640 bearing optic clip-on, and then if I get a shot opportunity, this magnifier will come off. No, I have not viewed through the day scope through the magnifier, it's just not going to work. Light suppressor can go back on. Since I'm in a blind, I guess I could leave it off if I wanted to, just I would have to mind the spacing between the back of the clip-on and the day optic, but we'll just say for the sake of demonstration here, light suppressor on, lock rings in, 
And then you want to go back to the same rail position that you took it off of. So I know that's T33 uh, in the blind. That's going to be difficult without any light sources. So if you can attach some sort of tactile feel um, rail stops up here so that you engage the same rail system or you put yourself a little bumper here so you know you're right below the, the mount, whatever. Uh, in a pinch, I could probably get small in the blind, turn on my red light, make sure I'm in the right slot, lock it in, and we're now good to engage. All the stuff hanging off the right side is a brass catcher and a recorder. So I'll be showing you recorded imagery through the clip-on. Uh, and I'm also going to attempt, since I'll be in a blind, to record through the back of the eyepiece. Uh, and I'll show you the same scene through the recorded output and through a uh, rear of the day scope uh, video camera and you can see more or less a better quality image uh, that would be closer to what you're viewing real time. So.